in the name of Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall you welcome to another spirit filled message on christocentric message if you're new to this channel i would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well i would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth it's going to bless you your graces are going to be imparted onto you and then god is going to visit your home thank you for watching stay blessed Spirit of the living God tonight, we have come, we came believing, we came trusting, we came expectant, believing that you are able to lift us, you are able to open our eyes, you are able to show us your ways. I pray, O oh God, that tonight our hearts 
will be greatly edified. I pray that no one who has come here tonight will leave disappointed. We decree and declare that there is the hearing of faith and even the working of miracles. And we vow tonight as always that you will take the glory and that you alone will be lifted in the name of Jesus. God bless you. Please be seated. Please be seated. It's good to have everyone again. I trust that tonight we will have some time to pray. We didn't do justice to our prayer last week. Amen. Um, we're to take come up here part two, but I'm suspending that tonight. We can take that next week. The Lord put something in my heart that I think is very, very powerful that we must listen to, and then we pray. Amen. Every time God sends his word, his word comes with power, his word comes with healing, deliverance, and hope. Praise the Lord. This afternoon, the Lord showed me something that it's important we discuss and then we pray about. Every once and again, um, our assignment is not only to prepare sermons, but to be discerning enough to see what God is saying and to understand what he is doing per time. The Bible talks about the sons of Issachar. They had understanding of the times and they knew what Israel ought to do. Praise the Lord. While I was just putting together this that the Lord uh, would have me share tonight, um, I got a text message that for me was again a confirmation and um, there's a lot going on in our world and in our society that is important. We are alive to it, we understand it, and then we pray. There is a growing trend of frustration, please listen very carefully, of depression and exhaustion. These three words the Holy Spirit used speaking to me. Frustration, depression, and exhaustion to be exhausted and the Lord told me that these are spirits that have been sent to the body even at such a time as this to shortchange many people from stepping into the fullness of God's word and God's purposes in their lives even for this season and so my, my exhortation tonight as we pray is going to deal with two categories of people. Please listen. Number one, those who are severely under attack in their lives in this season. If you belong to this category, I have a word for you tonight. That there are people, there are families, there are individuals who it looks like they are in very, very trying seasons of their lives where all hell has broken loose over that individual, over that family, and it's important for you to be guided on the steps to take even to victory. Number two, those who um, are not necessarily attacked, but they are going through phases in their lives that are nothing unusual as far as greatness and destiny is concerned. It's important that we are used by God to help you interpret the happenings in your life so that you are not like them who are void of understanding. It is important that believers mature into understanding times, seasons, and the dealings of the spirit that comes with all of those times. Are we together now? So we're going to deal with these two categories of people. Can you lift your voice in one minute again and ask the Lord for understanding? Father, grant me understanding grant me understanding
grant me understanding hallelujah amen please pay attention those following online pay attention if you know someone who belongs to these categories even if not you please pay attention for their sake hallelujah there are not many things that can discourage a christian please listen carefully um, but the few things that can discourage a christian when they are there and they remain the effect of their presence can be disastrous i have identified two major um, issues if i would say that discourage christians number one is on answered prayer there's almost nothing more frustrating to a believer who genuinely loves god as a tragedy of unanswered prayer that people lift up their voice to heaven believing that god is alive releasing all their faith as much as they know and then not getting the answer that should be number two is an unfruitful christian life an unfruitful christian life that means that when your life with time is void of certain evidences that should be testaments of your service your work to for god it's very very frustrating when a believer gets born again and opens up his heart serving the lord giving his best and then with time cannot see um, the evidences there are evidences testaments that help us and help believers around us to appreciate the hand of God upon our life. So unanswered prayers and then an unfruitful Christian life. Now write this down, please. There is a goal. Let me start with those who are severely being attacked by the gate of hell. There is a goal. There is an object behind every attack of Satan. Listen carefully. That every time hell launches an attack on an individual on a ministry, on a family, on a couple, there is something behind the thinking of the devil and his cohorts. And the Bible did not leave us in the dark as to what Satan is really looking for. And if you do not understand, then you will continually be defeated by all of the, the attacks of Satan. The first goal behind every attack the first thing the devil seeks to achieve is to destroy your confidence in god and the integrity of his word please never forget this that every time the devil attempts to attack a believer he is attempting to attack your confidence in god and the integrity of his word what satan is really attacking is the integrity of god's word what satan is attacking is your confidence in god the bible says to cast not away your confidence why because it has a great recompense of reward are we together your confidence in god i don't know if i've shared it here but i remember i was in Joss for a meeting when I met a gentleman who was talking to me about his dad and he told me his dad was once a reverend in one of these great denominations around and having been frustrated repeatedly in the field the man not only turned away from God he made up his mind that he was going to move to another faith entirely he was so frustrated no school fees for his children no meaning for his life nothing seemed to work and he said look i've served this god i've preached about this god but i'm going to have to stop lying to myself it does not work you will think that you may never get to a point where you can consider this let me tell you something life has a way of pushing a man 
a family an individual to a point where you will doubt the reality of God was it not John the Baptist under pressure who said go and ask him if he's the Messiah or should we expect another for John to be thinking of another as the person who ordained Jesus he should tell you what situations and circumstances can do are we together so your confidence in God and the integrity of his word number two the goal of every attack is to introduce the spirit of fear this subject of fear is very 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 important you will be amazed at how many believers have been utterly destroyed because they became the victims of fear the bible says the righteous are as bold as a lion there is a reason why he says that fear is terrible it's a destructive spirit every other spirit stands in the line waiting for fear to open the door no other spirit can open any door that fear does not open failure waits for fear to open the door death waits for fear to open the door discouragement waits for fear all the spirits line up with the potentials of the havoc they can wreck but then they wait for fear a man who conquers fear has conquered many spirits automatically the bible says and to deliver them who through fear the fear of death now have all their lifetime been subject to bondage praise the Lord. fear believers live in fear fear of the unknown fear of this and that and that and that today you see young people even teenagers having high blood pressure this is something that a teenager should have no business with ordinarily but fear 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 of the future how will tomorrow be how will this happen how will that happen and that fear creates a lot of worry matthew chapter 6 jesus took out time to teach and explain again and again on the fruitlessness of worry he said which of you by worrying can add even a cubit to his hair he said consider the lilies of the valley consider the birds of the air they break a fundamental law of sowing and reaping yet your father your heavenly father is benevolent enough to make sure they are not hungry please listen very carefully sooner or later in your christian experience hell will be interested in you i guarantee you except you do not love the lord and you do not keep growing a time will come when the impact that you continue to make will attract the attention of hell who is this young man who wants to rise and do what has never been done in this family for as long as you remain down that's all right but then you you it's like a it's like a spiritual thermometer there is a level when you rise to you attract the attention of hell and they say what is going on here if we are Allow this young Moses, he can tomorrow be the deliverer. Do not take the baby for granted. Kill him while he's a baby. Don't allow him to grow. The potentials of his growth can be dangerous. And so discouragement comes. Discouragement. So many believers, listen. So many families have had, especially in this time that we live in, their faith shaken, discouraged, students are discouraged, workers discouraged, graduates discouraged, pastors discouraged, church members. You know, it looks like there is this air of discouragement and depression. When you say praise the Lord, people cannot say hallelujah. In their minds, they say for what? Hallelujah comes from the word halal Yeshua. Praise the one who saves. That's what it means. You say, where is the salvation that I should praise him? Talk to an average believer about God. He will prefer you talking about rapture than talking about the faithfulness of God. Don't mention that word faithful to him. Because he tells you, I don't know what you are talking about. That reality is foreign to my experience. I do not yet know God as faithful. Faithful means keeping to your word. Faithful means justifying your integrity at all times. 
please listen very carefully so believers have been attacked here and there and they think that the attack listen they think the attack is just on them just because they are Christians or just because the devil does not want them to have a job or have a child and so on and so forth listen the devil is looking more than you he's he's trying to use you to make a statement to God that you are not faithful so when you read scriptures like since I was young and now I am old. He says, I have never seen the righteous forsaken, nor his seed beg for bread. And you think of all your family members in light of this. He said, but this is a lie. This is not true. Foreign to my experience. And when the devil wants to make the statement stronger, he will handpick serious believers. He knows the impact. Listen, the discouragement of a serious believer has more impact than that of a believer that is not serious. Someone who is not serious with God, if he tells you things are not working, you tell him, what did you ever engage? I mean, we, we watched you in, in all that laziness, no prayer, no nothing. But when a brother who has been a prayer warrior serving in church, when a sister who has been serving faithfully in church, two years, three years, no child, four years, no child, then she now gets pregnant. And everybody begins to rejoice. Then at the fifth or sixth month, she will lose the baby in a way that can cause a problem. Listen carefully. That impact, another believer will now say, my God, what is this? If you don't listen to what I'm telling you, a time will come you will not see the need to continue again. There are many believers who are sitting down, but they've left God since. They are just coming to church because they know if you don't see him in church, you say, I didn't see you here yesterday. But the truth is that their hearts are not with God again. They, they are not yet bold enough to go to a harbalist. But you can be sure one leg is already coming out of the things of God. And that includes preachers. The frustration of fasting and praying for genuine spiritual power going around and emptying my accounts in need for impartation only to return back with nothing that shows i was called when an aspect of your life has results and then another aspect does not have results you can at least find consolation listen but when every area of your life lacks result is a cause for concern usually it will not disturb you till other brethren start saying but why is this so An attack on your confidence in God you started your Christian experience loving God you made bold and audacious statements about God and while you made that statement hell kept quiet like they didn't hear you I will never leave the Lord no matter what happens I will stand for him I will stand by him it doesn't matter and now five years without a child and you don't have the courage to make the same statement you made 10 years ago. I will never give anybody bribe to get a job. Remember you said it. And now here is a job that can reward you. Only if you can fish out 150,000. You can pay it back in a month. Your integrity is at stake. You made a statement that you will never bribe. But jobs continue to pass you again and again until the day your loved ones look at you and say you are a foolish portrait of a believer. Watching you is a discouragement to me. At first you would think that it did not touch you until you sit later on and say, but God, are you not watching? And then heaven is silent. Are we together? When believers do not get results, they are vulnerable. When believers do not get results, they are vulnerable. Please listen to me. When believers consistently do not get results, they are vulnerable. They are put in a position where the, the faithfulness of God seems to be an issue that, they, that is worth debating about. Behind every attack is the desire to challenge your confidence in God. 
is your desire to challenge the integrity of God's word. Hallelujah. I got a text this afternoon about um, a gentleman who killed himself or so. I, I heard the story that there was a gentleman who killed himself. And if I'm right, I was told that the gentleman's brother or relative also killed himself. Now imagine, please, ladies, imagine that you gave birth to children who killed themselves. Not that they died, not a car accident, not sickness. You left your child hugging your child in the morning and say, make sure I see you in the evening. And then you see people running somewhere and you join them thinking it's someone else's child. And there you see your child and the testimony is that he killed himself. Think of what society will do to you. Think of what other women will say about you. Say this woman must have been wicked. It means that you do all kinds of things. Sometimes it seems like death is better than living. This is why people have the courage to kill themselves. And if you ignore a man that killed himself and don't help other people, very soon an entire area will begin to kill themselves. It's a spirit, but I've taught you how spirits work. They don't come and work with nothing. There is a raw material. They use your frustration as a raw material. They use your depression as a raw material. They create a, they, they create a system around your frustration. And that becomes the entry and the access point to your life. But we have come tonight to call the devil a liar. In the name of Jesus Christ. It says, but I know whom I have believed. Hallelujah. And I am persuaded. Listen to me. It is important. I will continue to teach this here, Koinonia. It is important the depth of your spiritual foundation. Remember my teaching a few weeks ago? That the deeper and the more solid your foundation, the more unbending you will be in the face of unfavorable situation. There are people who have dug so deep, they have become like Paul. For me to live is Christ and to die is gain. What shall separate us from the love of God? And then he begins to list a lot of things. Shall persecution, shall famine, shall A, B, and C. Frustration. And then the spirit of fear. You look around and see fear all over people's eyes. Fear. Financial fear. Marital fear. Fear of children, fear of raising children. It will be very irresponsible of any preacher and any man of God to ignore these truths, especially in light of the realities that are in our world today. When people begin to hang themselves, when people begin to run away in discouragement, go to the hospitals, go to the psychiatric wards, and see all kinds of people, young people, talking to themselves out of depression and frustration. Something is wrong. There has to be a people who will rise and say, Satan, you are a liar. Jesus is still on the throne and our, conviction, our convictions will not shake. We will not bend. Say, I reject fear. Say it again. Say, I reject fear. One more time, say, I reject fear. Fear is a spirit. Reject it. Open your mouth in one minute. I reject fear. You are a spirit. I may not know everything about tomorrow, but I know the one who holds tomorrow. Hallelujah. He holds tomorrow. I reject fear. I reject fear. I reject fear. Fear is a spirit and all spirits are received. Any spirit that is received can be rejected. God has not given us the spirit of fear, but the spirit of love, the spirit of power and of a sound mind. Fear of excelling in ministry. Fear of marriage. Fear of children. 
fear of the future of children fear of finances how can I tell if I will live to see tomorrow how can I tell if I will not die in a ghastly motor accident tonight Hallelujah. Listen to me. Please look up. The believer who will never allow his confidence to be shaken and a believer who refuses to receive the spirit of fear, that is the believer that will weary Satan to victory. Literally. That you can weary the devil with your convictions. That regardless of what happens around you, you can stand in faith and say, my confidence, Lord, more than ever, I trust you. More than ever, I love you. More than ever, I will follow you as for me and my house. When a husband loses his job in one day, by the next month, the wife loses her job. By the third month, the child loses admission or something and three of them are seated with a Bible in the midst of them full of many promises. And then they do not know what to do. Let me tell you something, my brothers and sisters. At that time, heaven is watching even as hell is also watching. Those who will not curse God because of their pain, if your pain will make you curse God, you are small. If your pain makes you curse God, you are weak. If your pain makes you curse God, your foundation is not deep enough. Are we together? Job's life kept being manipulated so that he will find offense in God. Even his wife said, look, Mr. Man, this is too bad. Curse God and die. Cause God and die. While I was still preparing this note this afternoon, one of our precious ladies in the worship team just sent me a text and said, they just told me my father has gone to be with the Lord. I'm sure she woke up this morning preparing with her colleagues to celebrate the faithfulness of God tonight only to receive a report in a year of extraordinary fruitfulness that your father has died are we together now yes there is a couple I don't know if they were able to make it here but I'll be very impressed if they made it the devil has attempted to challenge the husband and the wife again and again and again. And that man of God in his resilience, he said something that touched me one time while we were talking. He said, I will never be discouraged and I will never find fault in God. God is faithful. This is the language that moves heaven. That the devil says, can't you curse God? Are you blind? You still maintain your integrity and say God is alive. I got so many text messages from our young ones who wrote jam. Apostle, I've heard you change people's jam. This is what I got. This is what I want to get. Pray. And they send sometimes more than 10 times that text. I believe I will die believing God is a miracle worker. But the question is, what if it does not change? <laughs> you don't like this part of God. What if it does not change? What happens to you when your expectation does not come to pass? What happens when what you saw in your vision does not manifest physically? What happens when God tells you by much you are a millionaire and by much you don't even have a job? Though he slay me, yet will I trust him. Though he slay me, yet will I trust him. You are eating this bread because the journey is far. Man of God, what happened?
happens when you start ministry with a lot of zeal assurances from financial partners just start we are here we believe in your vision we will stand by you to the end four months they say we've tried don't come near us for that rent again I confess to you my brothers and my sisters that life can be very trying life can be trying to the point that even Jesus would cry at Gethsemane and say being in the flesh I thought it would be easier but now I've carried the burden of men and even as the son of God I confessed that men are trying surviving the betrayals and the pain surviving the nakedness and the shame now alone praying in gethsemane jesus wept prayed till his tears became like drops of blood is god blessing you today there is a reason behind the attack that has come is currently on you or is on the way coming let me tell you this. <laughs> there are many believers who convince themselves that they are not creating any trouble. It's the reason why they never get serious with God because they hope that the devil will be busy attacking the Joshua Selmans who are causing trouble. Don't practice the foolishness of Esther. Mordecai told Esther that this plot is for all of us. It's just broken in faces. <laughs> Phase one is for those outside the palace, but phase two will catch up with you. For as long as you have named the name of Christ, let me tell you, you have made yourself an arch enemy to Satan, and he will come. I assure you, Jesus is fasting for 40 days and 40 nights. He's done fasting and the first personality he meets is Satan. And hear what the Bible says. He departed for a season. For a what? Season. That means I'm coming. I don't mean to scare you. But I'm opening you up to the reality of living. He's coming. It's not only God that is coming. Maranatha is not just for God alone. Satan too is coming. Satan, just like faith, cometh. Is it not in your Bible, the thief cometh? He doesn't have to be invited. The thief cometh. To every family, he will come. To every ministry, he will come. To every life, please hear me, he will come. Oh, apostle, I've been enjoying my life. Everything has been wonderful. Keep going. Keep going. The world is not too large for his presence to reach. Satan is an expert in mobility. He testified his expertise in mobility before God. Where are you coming from? He said from to and fro the earth. That's not a problem. I can voyage as many times as it will take to meet you. He will come. Let your finances begin to glorify God. He will come. Let your children begin to glorify God. He will come. Insult me today and thank me years later, but you must listen. Let your ministry begin to glorify God. He will come. Hmm. Let your life begin to glorify God. He will come. Let your home begin to glorify God. He will come. I think it was last week or so, I had the opportunity to counsel a couple I could not believe when they told me the antecedents of their marriage and the level of, of love and passion and friendliness they had. I could not believe that a couple who were disbonded today would be looking for a divorce. I said, what, what was so bad that you want to go out? Man of God, I've said my own. We didn't come here to debate. It's a conclusion we have made. I said, take it easy. There has to be a way. Hmm. Life, ba. If you don't know God, one day you will sit down on the road and say, before life kills me, let me kill myself. 
when you see people do foolish things don't think they were born foolish are we together when people go and buy this rat poison what they call it and add it to rice and turn it to eat and die they are not stupid people there is a way life can push you huh as a lady when a man has done your traditionals has done everything the invitation letter has come out and then he just looks at you and casually says i don't feel like doing it again because somebody told me you are a witch go and tell your father they can go with the dowry i'm gone at that point you would think you would smile and say oh no problem what is there god told you to live my life you, you will cry and not know what direction to turn to it is true that life can push you it is true that life can challenge you recently i had a conversation with a man that broke me i was going to pray for the man true story and the man looked at me and said apostle let me finish the story he said as i'm talking to you right now my beloved wife is in the mortuary i don't even have the money to go and bury her I'll not mention tribe, but he comes from a region where burial is not something that comes easy. And the man was just smiling. I said, your wife is dead. He said, yes, sir. Dead. My wife. I stood before everybody to exchange vows. We agreed to grow old together. Now she's gone. You think they didn't pray to raise that body back? The guy I'm talking to you is a born again and tongue talking Christian. What happens? You see, I've been to the mortuary many times, my brothers and sisters. As a man of God, you can imagine what happens when people die. I've been to the mortuary. They have closed me and left me with dead bodies in a mortuary alone. Why? Because they believe I'm anointed. And I believe I'm anointed. And I stood before a dead body that would not listen to me wake up in the name of Jesus and the body is looking hmm. there are times when life will act like that dead body hmm. there are times when your finances will act like that dead body there are times when your marriage can act like that dead body there are times when everything around your life can act like that. Please listen to me, believers. When you pray and nothing happens, and you pray again and nothing happens, and believers agree with you and nothing happens, you must know what to do. When the devil launches an attack, do you know what to do? Or do you just know that attack is real? Hallelujah. Years ago, I counseled one of our precious ladies. She's no longer here. And this lady told me that once a guy looks at her and says, I love you. I want to go and see your parents. That's the end of it. A strange being appears to her as usual. And that's the end of that relationship. If that guy does not get out of her life, the things that will get out of his life, you will not, his finances, just like Jonah, things will begin to leave. I can tell you that lady loves God and she's a Christian. Listen, if an unbeliever goes through certain things, it is natural. What happens when a Christian woman is barren? What happens when a Christian man is impotent? What happens when a Christian couple are broke? What happens when a Christian man and his wife and their children are standing in the name of the Lord and there is no roof for them that night? They don't know where they will spend the night. Yet Jesus is still Lord over their lives. Your confidence in God and the spirit of fear that comes upon you. A lecturer called me some months ago that he was relieved from his work. Not, not ABU here. One of the institutions. 
and I said what happened and just some issue that he, he truly told me under God now it's not for me to vet the rightness but from as a man of God I can tell you I discern he was true some persons just cooked up one or two things like that and that was it the case had been pending 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 and finally they just threw that man away out no job and the man was telling me he said where do I start from there were monies they were supposed to give him nobody's talking about it and everything has gone I confess to you that life can be challenging I confess to you that when Satan attacks you he looks powerful because the attack is real you will see it and sometimes you will wonder Lord where were you when this came but tonight's message is for you let's look at a few scriptures hmm. John chapter 16 and verse 33 John 16 33 we are really going to pray tonight and when it's time to pray please hold even if it's prophetically the hands of your loved ones and everybody you know should be listening to this message and lift them before God as we cry. John chapter 16 and verse 33. Everyone read with me. One to read. Jesus is speaking. Uh-huh. These things I have spoken unto you. What things? That in me ye might find peace. Why? In the world ye shall have tribulation. Listen. Listen. Jesus is speaking to believers. And saying the possibility of tribulation is something that will be part of your experience. That means acclimatize your mind. Do not think it strange when these things happen. It says, be of good cheer. Why? Because I have overcome the world. 2 Corinthians chapter 4 and verse 17. 2 Corinthians 4 and verse 17. Listen to this message, mature believers, and run away from some of these childish things that continue to give us very aberrated views of life. For our light affliction, why will you use the word affliction for a Christian? One who is in Christ. One who has sustained victory, the fullness of the spirit, the fullness of the Godhead in Christ resides in him. Paul is speaking and says for our light affliction, which is but for a moment, he says, worketh for us a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory. for our light afflictions so it is not unusual for believers to go through afflictions nobody sits and prays for it but that is for any reason you find that reality around your circumference do not think it's strange rather be equipped with the understanding to deal with it to victory are we together now I will never forget years ago I was encouraging a gentleman generally just sharing with him I told him I pray for you to get a job but in case you don't get a job I was sharing with him certain business ideas and the guy almost shouted on my face I, I reject um, you know that he rejected the statement I was saying that there will be delay in a job you know the Bible says he will not I, did, I said no no I'm a man of God I pray I'm not saying you will be delayed but I'm saying if this possibility happens while you wait for that blessing be thinking of this and that i don't mean to embarrass you but till today i'm not aware except if he got it this year but till today he has not gotten a job the same wisdom he would have listened to and his foolishness there is a difference between faith and foolishness they are not the same The same way a matured mother will be mentoring a young lady who is about to get married and get pregnant. And say, we do not, we, we are not discouraging you. 
but we are just saying that there might be these possibilities and that if this comes there is a wisdom way to route it no i reject it I, my, my womb is blessed nobody's arguing it until life shows you pepper and then you turn and say ah so this thing is like that A man parked his car and ran to deal with somebody quickly and came out and met space. His car had gone. In the afternoon, broad daylight, the car that was dedicated in church, don't forget, don't forget, almost every church dedicates cars. This car was dedicated in the name of the Lord by a genuine man of God. Genuine oil was poured on it. And now a thief enters and the oil did not seem to do anything. The prophecy didn't seem to do anything. That guy kicked that car and ran away with it. And where were the angels that keep watch? Did the Bible not say that they will bear you up on their wings? What suddenly happened to that man who put a speaker, I am victorious, behind the car that was stolen? What happens when a believer is in church and armed robbers are in the house stealing? Have you not heard this? Or you don't say it in church. It should not be said, Abby. That you are worshipping God and rolling on the ground. Lord, I give you my heart. And an armed robber breaks your door. And the all-seeing eye of God does not seem to be able to restrain that robber. He enters your house and goes to look for the areas you just collected and carries it and runs away. You share the grace with joy and go back home into a week long of depression. I'm a man of faith. I'm a man that believes in miracles. But I must teach you the reality of navigating through these things in life. I don't mean to embarrass our precious lady, but one of our ladies here, I remember very clearly one time her mother, it was in a, it was in a night vigil. They were praying, not in a party not in a club a night vigil they were praying lifting up the name of the lord fiery prayer suddenly a woman stops drops dead and dies that's how the mother died i remember when that lady called me that night crying and saying apostle how can my mother die in the place of prayer it's the same thing like saying how can jesus die but he died how can life die? Life died. How can light be dark? Light became dark. Sometimes the unexplainable happens. Like life dying. Like resurrection being grounded on the cross. <laughs> James chapter 1 and verse 1 to 4. I like what this teaching is doing to you. You will thank me tomorrow. Add it to your spiritual arsenals so that you will draw it forth in the days that are rainy days. For some of you, the dark cloud is already before you. And you will need to know this. James, let's go to verse, um, verse 2. My brethren, count it all joy when you fall into diverse temptations. Why? Next verse. Knowing this, knowing this. Tell your neighbor, knowing this. There are things you need to know. Knowing this. This is your immunity. This is your basis for stability. Knowing this. There are things if you don't know, you cannot rejoice in the midst of pain. It says, knowing this, that the trying of your faith Walk at patience. Verse 4. It says, but let patience have her perfect walk. Do you know what this means? Don't interrupt what is happening. Let patience have her perfect walk. That ye might be mature and complete. 
wanting or lacking nothing. Jesus told us very clearly that it's not unusual for believers to be challenged by the gates of hell. And then also, the Bible did not leave us in the dark that the journey of the believer is not just a smooth road. That there are mountains and there are valleys in the making of great men in God's kingdom. Listen very carefully. There is a place where the refiner's fire. I preached a controversial message years ago on the furnace of affliction. And several people said, don't mind that message. Just believe, you know, and so on and so forth. There is a real experience in a believer's making called the furnace of affliction. I repeat, there is a real experience in the making of men that are as precious as gold called the refiner's fire. It is not the destroyer's fire. It is the refiner's fire. Are we together? Isaiah 43 and verse 1 and 2 says, Fear not, I have redeemed you. It says, I have called you by name. You are mine. Are we together? He says, Isaiah 43, 1 and 2. Fear not, I have redeemed you. I have called you by name. You are mine. He says, when you pass through the waters, I will be with you. There are times that God will not say, I will be with you. He will say, I will help you. But there are other times he says, I'm there. Just find comfort that I'm there. There's no guarantee that I will put my hand in that process. But be assured that my presence is there. <laughs> and through the rivers, they shall not overflow thee. Now listen, he said when you walk through fire, you don't pass through fire, you walk. There is a roasting process that takes time. There is a separation. You don't put meat around fire. And you have something nice. You drop it there. Then turn it again. Then turn it back to where you turned before. Then turn it again. And when it is done, people enjoy it. Listen, what do you think the anointing is? Have you found out how oil is made? That the threshing floor is not a place of laughter. That oil does not want to go through that train. Believers, we have been spoon-fed into believing that all it takes is to get born again and be filled with the Holy Spirit. I want to be Apostle Joshua Selman. I want to be Benny Hinn. It is doable. It is achievable. But can you drink of my cup and be baptized with my baptism? That's what Jesus said. Whoever told you there is no cup to drink and whoever told you there is no baptism, there are times when your prayers will deliberately not be answered. This is not a conventional teaching. Many people say, God forbid, all prayers are answered. I agree. It depends on the level you are seeing from. Because the Bible says there is the heel of the Lord. It says, who shall ascend to the heel of the Lord and who shall stand in his holy place? There are planes in the spirit. And not every experience is the same at every plane. There are planes that are general experiences. And you can write a theology from that standpoint. But you climb like the eagle to a mountain where the Holy Ghost defeathers you. Have you seen how eagles mount up and renew their wings? They rise to a high altitude and right there by themselves, they, they remove the old feather and they are left naked in the cold. And they stand there and then suddenly new feather begins to come out slowly. There are things that the tempo has been preset. It will not be accelerated because of your tears. It was designed to be that slow. If the process hurries too much, you will not learn what you should learn. <laughs> hmm. That you are trusting God for money to eat. As soon as 10,000 came, God said, carry 1,000 tight. Carry 1,000 your own. Carry 8,000 my own. Go and sow. And you say, why did it come then? I, I'm, I'm, I'm doing something to you that breaks the power of mammon in your life. Because what is coming to you, eye has not seen. Ear has not heard. It has not entered the heart of any man. So I need to train you. 
if 10,000 is difficult for you to receive, and you are shouting, I'm a millionaire, you are joking and flattering yourself. We continue to do these foolish things in church. That's why the world looks at us and says, these people, something is wrong with them. The faith life is not foolishness. People must be educated to understand the pathway. The way to the throne is the cross. You will never, there is no bypass. There is only one line. Man of God, hear me. You admire everyone who speaks under the influence of God's power. Fine. Let me tell you, when the anointing for service comes, it doesn't come as oil, it comes as olive. There is a breaking process that will turn that olive to the oil. It is true. There is a threshing floor in your life that is in the similitude of the threshing floor of Naboth. Where there are things that are threshed there. Unfortunately, it's not wheat, it is you. You are that living sacrifice that must lie there. Hear me. There are times that the things happening in your life can only be interpreted by those who have passed that road. No other believer can see and it can make sense. Now, God gives you a rule and says for the next five months, I meet with you from 11 to 3 every night, regardless of how tired you are. And some man of God will tell you, no, it's not in the word. God doesn't do that. Pray when you need to pray. God gave you a will. I agree. And the man is right. He is not wrong. But with respect to your training, violate that instruction and power will be far from you. Far from you. Show us the ancient paths. Would you lead us along eternal highway? We want to follow the ways of Jesus. We want to enter your rest. Show us the ancient path. That so many have left would you lead us along eternal highway we want to follow the ways of Jesus we want to answer your listen the path to glory does not have laughter as part of the equation except you are laughing by the anointing he that sows in tears a farmer laughing by the farmer has not started farming. The size of the instrument alone will take away laughter. But you have to farm. Who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross. There are many people who see every blessed man and just dishonor them. Ah, these young people, they just became rich. Please keep quiet. Find out the cross behind what you see. And then you will know that nobody was dashed well. You see young people with anointing, all these young boys, where did they get it from? Go and find out the pain. Find out what they were doing when you were sleeping. Find out the covenants that they, that they tied themselves with like a rope. All these people who have great ministry, be careful oh, you don't know where they are getting the crowds from. You are joking. You go and find out people's cries and covenants with God. I know a man of God who said when he went to Lagos for the first time, he slept under the bridge. He was not a poor man. God instructed him to give everything he had. He got to Lagos and slept under the bridge like a fool. Imagine if you were his relative and you saw him. He said, sorry, uncle, what are you doing here? He said, God sent me. Imagine that it was your daughter that kind of man married. Won't you carry your daughter back home? But today everybody celebrates him. Listen, my brothers and my sisters, do not think it unusual when you are following the path of champions. It's a lonely road. Did you hear what I said? Do not think it unusual. I speak to you. There are many men and women of God here. You thought by now you will start a church. You are surprised you are still on, tra on training. There are others who are jumping classes and running around. Leave them home and stay quietly with God. 
because there is a making huh. making ask a coach how a champion is built the coach will subject that person through exercises the person will run the person will cry coach I am tired and the coach will say no this is not you the version of you I seek to produce is not the you I'm seeing sometimes when God pushes you is proof of his confidence in you Others got there and God said, no, they've reached the elastic limit. But for you, he says, no, I know what I put in you. Let's push a little more. There are certain levels of glory that have been waiting for who will push to this level. Everybody stopped here. You can, don't, don't disappoint me. Push a little further. On one side, believers can be attacked. But on another side, without an attack, the default design of the pathway to glory requires like pilgrim's progress there are mountains to climb listen very carefully there are valleys to follow there are times you will sleep in the desert there are times you will not know where you are going you will just keep going and hope you are right We didn't come this far by luck. We didn't come this far by chance. It is true we came by grace, but grace that was not abused. It is not grace that did the work. Grace empowered us to comply. Behind every glory, are tears and blood sleepless nights and sacrifices as any great man champions hear me being a champion is not just a confession ask a pregnant woman when she gives birth to the baby like a dear one here who gave birth and we're all rejoicing but ask her how it was Right now, you are carrying something that others are not carrying. Don't expect them to understand you. If everybody around you understands you, it's a sign that you are not going anywhere. There are times only God can understand you. Let me tell you. There are times only God can understand you. While others are sleeping, the Holy Ghost takes away sleep from you. He giveth his beloved sleep. But from you, he took it so that you will wake up. And you are walking around your house and crying. Lord, what is the name of what you are doing with me? He calls it refining. Lord, what is the name of what you are doing with my life? Is this how useless my life is going to be? You have honored other people. Look at what you are doing. At least show me where I'm going. Let me be convinced that you are leading me. And he says, the seeming confusion is part of the process. So that I teach you that you don't have to understand me to follow me. There are times that it's in your obedience that understanding comes. Lord, if you don't show me where I'm going, I will not follow. You will never get to the place of destiny. There are times you start that journey far before it later makes sense. Come out of Ai of the Chaldeans to a land that I will show you. I don't give you no vision for it. Keep moving. Carry your child along because you will kill him sooner or later. These are messages you will not hear in the church again. It's not all about receive. It's not all about be a champion. The anointing does not work like that. There is stability. I show you the way of champions. I show you the way of the ancient. I show you the, the way to build stamina where you are given the keys of territories. To him that endures to the end that will give a crown and a white stone, he said. Please don't let anybody deceive you. If it is that cup, you must drink of it. If it's that baptism, you will be baptized. If it has not started, it will start. So I'm teaching you so that you will understand that when everything in your life looks strange and God says, empty your account, 
When you were a baby Christian, you emptied your account and in 24 hours times 10 came. So you took that mindset to rush and say, ah, if he's God, I know he's Jehovah Sharp Sharp. I agree, but not for your training. Sharp Sharp will be when you are on stage. Then you prophesy to someone and he gets a miracle alert. But I tell you, not during your training, you will get no miracle alert. What you will get is the faith to endure. I shared with you my story. Today I pray and people receive breakthroughs. I shared with you years ago, when out of hunger, I took a step of faith and joined a queue in First Bank, believing that miracle alert will come. This miracle alert thing didn't just start now. It was built in the spirit. So then death works in us, that life will work in you. Whatever you die to is what you give life to people in let me tell you this is how it works you have never been disappointed forget about carrying the power of God now it's not for children you must taste of this cup called shame. You must taste of this cup called embarrassment till your ego is drained like a transfusion from someone and the life that I now live. It is no longer about if you are not healed, I'm not a man of God. No, your ego is gone. It went with the training. You started the ministry with ego. So every time you want to pray for the sick, your reputation is there. And he said, young man, you can't do ministry that way. It is not about the result. It is about my glory. It is painful to be approved of God. This is why you stand and run your mouth over people that God approved. You will be surprised what happens to you. It's true you are a believer, but you will know that everyone is not the same. Let no man trouble me, he said for I bear in my body. I'm speaking to men and women inside and outside here. You are in these defining moments and I must tell you what is happening in your life. Because if you are not careful, you will run around and meet people and they will say, no, um, it's because you don't have faith. No, I show you the way of power. Let me tell you this. Listen. Listen. I don't claim to know everything about the faith life. I am just an effective member of the body. But I tell you this. When I teach people on how the anointing is made, and I teach people how men are made, it's an office. I don't teach you cunningly devised fables. I'm like a lecturer that has been teaching this for a long time. You ignore what I tell you is to your own peril. That which we have seen, that which we have heard, that which our hands have handled. The keys of nations will not be given to you just because you prayed. There is blood that must touch that altar. And not some, everything. It must be drained till you are empty. Your tears will not stop him. Not even your fears. You get to a point where all your fears happen to you. And there's nothing else to fear. You have come out of the realm. Not by escapism. I'm afraid. One of the ways boldness is given to you is what you fear is brought before you so that you no longer can fear god shows you your fear right before you you pray that he takes it away but you pass through it and there's no longer fear this is the making of men this is the threshing floor of naboth this is how the great are made in this kingdom apostle i'm calling to the ministry of kingdom finance I think all I need is just a seminar and some impartation. <laughs> you are joking. You are even the one who will need to die more than a preacher. Because mammon is a spirit that God even recognized. Abraham, take now thy son, thy only son whom thou lovest. Take him to a mountain. God, is this the price to be the father of nations? I'm not interested. What is that? I wait for a child for 25 years and you ask me to hand him over. Yes, sir. Take over. Take over. Take over. 
Take over, take over, over, take 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 over, I have come to the end of myself take over take over I have come to the end of myself hallelujah hallelujah I have come to the end of myself hallelujah hallelujah I have come to the end of my faith. Take over, take over. I have come to the end of my faith. Take over, take over. I have come to the end of my faith. Listen, listen to me. I got to a point in my life where God so dealt with me it was like there was no life again. That you get to a point where you don't know the name of your life or destiny again. No name. You are like Cain. And the more I kept moving like the wind, I didn't know that's how spiritual men are. Because it says the wind bloweth where it listeth. You cannot tell where it's going or where it's coming. So is one who is led by the Spirit of the Lord. I truly wanted the power of God in my life. And I prayed. I said, Lord, please give me power. I thought the answer would be a bed that would land on my head. And you say, son, from this day, I have given you power. Power to open doors that no man can shut. You are joking. Power to speak over nations? No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. Those keys are hidden in your scars. You keep them there. Oh, I apologize if you don't like what I'm teaching you tonight. But this meeting is for the great. Because I see that season coming again. It's like a cycle. And a season comes when there is a new recruitment. A new recruitment. It's always like that. And then the ones that are being recruited, God starts working with them. After some years, he says, now there is a, an opening again. That can scare me. That can scare me. Because I know I'm dead already. In my reason. In my seasons, I cry out, this is the end of me. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I have come to the end of myself. Hallelujah. Listen, please listen to me. Not every negative thing happening to you is demonic, is of the devil. N not every negative thing will answer to prayer. There are certain things where it is the grace of God that will be sufficient for you. There are times in my life I fasted and fasted I didn't know the difference between being full and being empty. This is our generation. We, we truly have this honor. Truly have this honor. Please don't just see every young man you are seeing and believe that just because they are young, it means that they were giving certain things as a dash. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. 
there were nights when everyone would be sleeping I would be on the roof of vet medicine in ABU the roof of it in the night from night till morning in that roof seeing visions and revelations but staying there in that cold with mosquitoes just a little inconvenience and people begin to complain you are talking of giving some seed I never had the opportunity to spend my scholarship once once it was a sacrifice before it arrived so when today someone says apostle give me your phone let me send you money please there is a track record let's honor the pain of people let's honor the pain of people man of God the anointing is for the taking grace is for the taking the pride that we have just because of our one one or two two hours prayer I will never forget times when I would lock myself for three days my eyes will not see the sun I don't know whether it's day or night I don't know whether it's nine o'clock or ten o'clock no sleep with these eyes open praying from morning till night morning till night morning till night Shakata kata. Lord expand this vessel expand this vessel let me be a, a conduit of your power that was a prayer not for myself Lord for your glory let it please you that I will be used as a vessel and one day God vowed a vow and said my son I give you my presence as a gift there is a threshing floor in the life of every believer please hear me I'm addressing those who have been attacked and those who are going through seasons they do not understand do not think that it is demonic please sit down and give me a few minutes and then we are going to pray tonight let me get back again to those who have been attacked and show you a few keys it applies to everybody but please write this down I remember praying years ago and I said Lord why is it that when I speak nothing happens I read the Bible and I saw in the life of Peter that while Peter yet spake these things the Holy Ghost fell on all they that had him not all they that believed in him if your ears could hear Peter the Holy Ghost will come to you I said Lord why don't I see this in my life not for pride and God let me know that everything in the kingdom is yours for the taking but there are dimensions not all things are possible at every level there are real dimensions number one the first key that I will give you to minister comforts tonight overflow one I'm seeing lights all over overflow one this is what I'm seeing lights I'm seeing an impartation lights 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 just like like thunder like lightning light I believe it's an impartation just overflow one just caught my attention in the name of Jesus Christ that which God has in store let it come upon you in Jesus name number one the first key that you need to survive these seasons whether a season of attack or a season of pruning and dealing and refining number one never lose your joy please never lose your joy in this kingdom joy is strength never never lose your joy
Philippians chapter 4 and verse 4. Please write quickly. Philippians chapter 4 and verse 4. Rejoice in the Lord always. Not always. Always as you go. Rejoice in the Lord always. And again I repeat. Rejoice. Joy. Joy is of the Holy Ghost. Oh. Joy is not just clownish laughter. You don't have to laugh to be in joy. Lord, I don't know the name of what you are doing, but I rejoice. I rejoice, I rejoice, I rejoice. I rejoice. <laughs> I rejoice. True joy will come in form of a melody on your lips. A melody that does not make sense. Sometimes a melody that mocks your situation. Still sing it. Joy. Joy. Nehemiah chapter 8 and verse 10b. Popular scripture. But many of you don't know where it is in the Bible. Nehemiah chapter 8 and verse 10b. It says, for the joy of the Lord is your strength. That the joy of the Lord, that means when you lack strength in this kingdom, what you lack is joy. In the physical world, when you lack energy, you are given food. Is that true? In the realm of the spirit, when you lack joy, I mean when you lack strength, what you are given to eat is joy. Sometimes God does not give you the solution. He gives you joy. Joy, 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 joy. He said, count it all joy. Count it all joy. The shame, yes sir. The pain, yes sir. The no admission, yes sir. The disappointed meeting that I called people and I said, sick people come. And at the end, nobody was healed. And that you went back home and somebody sent a text. And say, next time, be a serious man of God before you call us. The Bible says, count it all joy. It comes alive every time I hear your voice. It comes alive every time I hear your voice. There's a joy. In my heart In spite of all the sorrows That surrounds me And this joy That I have Only comes alive Every time I hear your voice It comes, it comes alive Every time Can you watch your car on fire? Your 2.5 or 3.5 million. And you stand and say to God be the glory. Great things he has done. Can you watch your job? And you stand at the gate of your office. It was once yours. But now no longer yours. And say in it, oh God, I give you glory. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I be afraid? Can you stand before a corpse and you are looking at a dead body that you fasted for days to come back to life and you say, in spite of it, oh God, with the tears coming from my eyes, I still give you glory. I thought the dead body would come back to life, but now I have prayed. I give you glory. Never lose your joy. Let nothing in this life steal your joy. Not lack of money. Not lack of a child. Please listen to me. This gloominess we carry around is cheating us. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yes. Make up your mind to rejoice in the Lord. Why are you rejoicing and crying? I'm crying because of the reality of my pain. But I rejoice because joy brings harvest. You will sow in tears but you will reap in joy not with joy in joy 
if there is no joy there is no harvest number two what do you do in these seasons engage in strategic prayer listen the seasons of attack in a believer's life or a season of pruning and making they are seasons of deep spiritual emphasis they are seasons of prayer and intercession that's not the time to pray morning and evening that's the time to pray anyhow and anytime because you are in a season your anchor will be your prayer hallelujah day and night you are praying Lord I don't know what is happening to my life but I'm praying you have your prayer time in the morning you have your prayer time in the evening but every time is prayer time every time is prayer time an evil report your wife just lost her child what are you doing I am praying why I'm in a season is any man afflicted James chapter 5 and verse 13 let him pray let him pray not let him discuss not let him grumble around not let him call God names and say I will backslide let him pray Psalm 34 please from verse 4 to 7 and then the last part and we will pray Psalm 34 I sought the Lord and he heard me and delivered me from what all my fears next verse we are reading to four to seven they looked unto him and were lightened and their faces were not ashamed six the poor man cried and the lord heard him and saved him out of how many all his troubles last verse the angel of the lord encampeth around them that fear him and delivereth them prayer is a powerful weapon in all seasons but especially this season lord what is happening around my life my wife just got attacked my son just got attacked my job just got attacked i am not understanding what is happening i set myself like daniel onto prayer God grants you grace you can add with fasting add with fasting this spiritual laziness of eating anyhow anytime many believers now fast as a ceremony three days fasting you carry it on your head as if you as if it's, it's 12 years fasting if you love food more than your destiny life will cheat you again and again food is okay oh, but please let me tell you mighty ones you must learn to show food that your spirit man has grown above it there are many of you here you cannot remember i may be wrong i'm not saying you should do it please i'm not saying you should do it but as far as i'm concerned there are spiritual levels that if you get to a week should never pass that you did not fast you are joking you are joking not with what you are doing to hell you are joking seven days ah no himarama <laughs> Imarama Imarama To the king who sits on the throne Imarama To the king Listen, let me tell you this I will continue to teach you this secret real victory real victory in prayer is gotten while men sleep 
Real victory is not gotten shouting around just making noise. Real men of power contact power when men sleep. May God give you the grace to rise above sleep. I'm praying from the... May God give you the grace to not allow sleep cheat you. That God can wake you up in the night. No light. Off the light. You are praying. Don't allow distractions. You are praying the next thing. You see one of your trousers and it's enough to distract. Off the light. You can use your phone light. You are in the night alone. And watch what happens. You are nobody seeing what you are doing. But there is a register. Every day you are signing. It is the day you get to the stage to preach. That's when God will not disappoint you. You don't come on stage and talk nonsense. Lion of the tribe of Judah, Rose of Sharon, Lily of the Valley, Rose of this and that and that. God is not a scammer. He's not a magician. No track record in the secret place. You will flatter yourself to nothing in, it, in the open. Please learn to pray in the night. Learn to pray in the night. Learn to pray in the night. Receive grace to dedicate night times and pray. God didn't give you a house just to keep things. Turn everywhere to a prayer altar. Turn your toilet to a prayer altar. Turn your living room to a prayer altar. When everyone has gone off the television, don't pray watching a film. Even if it's a Christian movie, you are not praying. Shut it down. Lord, this is me and you here. I don't know what is happening to my life. A time will come, you'll feel like just leaning. Get up and say, Satan, you are a liar. I'm going far. A time will come, your tongues begin to change. What you are saying, it will never be what you started with. You, are, you, you have entered a level in the spirit. Tongues are languages and there are levels of power contact. Groanings that cannot be uttered. You get to a point in the spirit where you begin to pray. There are times that only one word, one phrase will come out of your mouth for minutes. Pray it. You are receiving power. Prayer is not something you do in a group so that people will see you and think you're a prayer warrior. Don't joke with your destiny like that. Don't joke with your destiny like that. The Bible says to enter and shut the door behind you. Shut the door behind you and pray to your father who is in secret. You don't need to have a prayer point. You don't need to have a prayer point. Just stay there and begin to pray. Sekas kaparakatos, embrekete keleka takatos, sikos kamanakata. And while you are praying, your flesh is weak, but your spirit is willing. Listen, can I tell you this? There is a level of fire you bring on any attack in your life. It must give way. It must give way. Fire is an emblem of the spirit. It's one of the emblems of revival. It's one of the emblems that show that the spirit is in a place. Fire does not only refine. Fire is for judgment. There are times you need to stay like a priest upon the watch. My brother and my sister, if you pray from your heart, some things will shift. You will wake up in the morning and know I shifted this through prayer. 
There are attacks that only prayer can challenge. Pray for me, pray for me is wonderful. But you must become the priest of your destiny. Can someone just blast in tongues for just one or two minutes? Salamakata. Senakandas Kamahasabash. Rakata Pakato Sopakoto Sheketelekata. Emprata Seneketo Shanikata. Tasete Shanahas Kabaratos. Rekete Ketekete Skabarakatos. Unto him that answers prayer shall all flesh come. Lord, I'm in a season of my life. I cannot afford to be lazy. I'm in a season of my life. I cannot allow my prayer life go down. It's too risky. Not for this season. Not for this season. This is the wrongest time to be prayerless. This is the wrongest time to be prayerless. Oh, take away slumber from my eyes. Take away slumber, oh God. Skabaratoskama. There are scores to settle in the realm of the spirit. There are things to shift in the realm of the spirit. There are things to align in the realm of the spirit. I need to legislate spiritual realities. While men slept, while men slept, the enemy came and saw tears. Pray. Pray. Outside, pray. Through the king who sits upon the white home. Through the king who sits upon the white home. Shela bakata rekotosia imarama eh imarama eh imarama to the king who sits on the throne imarama. To the king who sits on the throne. Eshena balala. Ele, 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 ele. Ela barata katos, brada katela katos. Ekata braka tos, kane kata braza na kata. Karu se se ne katos, la tos ke mahasa. Woe to them who are at ease in Zion. Woe to them who are at ease in Zion. To the king who sits upon the white horse. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are praying. Psalm 125. Prayer gives you stamina to pass through seasons. Jesus prayed, otherwise, you would have given up. He said, Peter, Satan desired to sift you like wheat, but I have prayed for you that your faith fail not. And when you are converted, use the same strategy to strengthen, strengthen. Prayer is a strengthener. They that trust in the Lord shall be as Mount Zion, which cannot be moved, but abided forever. Next verse. 
as the mountains are around Jerusalem, so the Lord is round about his people from henceforth even forever. Next verse. For the rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the lot of the righteous, lest the righteous put his hands in iniquity. Next verse. Do good, O Lord, unto those that be good, and to them that are upright in their hearts. We are reading till the last verse. As for such as turn aside in their crooked ways, the Lord shall lead them forth with the workers of iniquity. But peace upon Joshua Selman. Prayer gives you stability. In the next two, three minutes, you are going to pray. And say, Lord, let this prayer stabilize me. I shouldn't be shaking over everything. I should be able to laugh at certain storms and say, Jesus is Lord. Lift your voice and pray. Stability, power, stamina. The Lord is my light and my salvation. The Lord is the strength of my life. Stability, O oh God. Stability, O oh God. The Bible says if you turn aside in the day of battle, your strength is small. Your strength is small. Give me capacity, endurance, stamina. The grace to pass through for the sake of my family. The grace to pass through for the sake of my generation. The grace to pass through for the sake of my, my loved ones. Be strong, be strong, be strong. Be strong in the Lord. Don't be weak, be strong in the Lord. And in the power of His might. Be strong in the Lord. Koinonia, be strong in the Lord. Be strong in the Lord. Be strong in the Lord. Don't entertain weakness. Be strong in the Lord. You are not the weak ones. You are strong. Hallelujah. The third key I will give you tonight. Number one, never lose your joy. Number two, engage in strategic prayer and intercession. Number three, prophesy. The power of the spoken word. There is no greater time in your life to engage the creative power of God's word than when things just go haywire. The power of the spoken word. The power of the spoken word. Numbers chapter 14 and verse 28. Numbers chapter 14 and verse 28. Numbers 14 Say unto them, as truly as I live, saith the Lord, as ye have spoken in my ears, so will I do unto you. There are times that you don't just pray. You pray till the spirit of prophecy comes on you. When it does come, you speak. He said, prophesy. Speak to the dry bones. Prophesy. Oh, dry bones, hear ye the word of the Lord said prophesy there are times you need to prophesy there are times you need to speak psalms 138 and verse 8 very powerful scripture psalms 138 and verse 8 please give it to us quickly we're going to pray the lord will perfect that which concerned me thy mercy O lord endure it forever forsake not the works of my own hands you lift it in prayer i prophesy and i declare the lord is perfecting everything 
concerning me I declare that I come out victorious the Bible declares that goodness and mercy follow me you don't just cry and say hey yeah so is this how my life is going to be this is what I've become now no sir nothing moves till you prophesy I prophesied as I was commanded and there was a sound you see that's why it is important for a believer to be full of God's word if you are scripture bankrupt you will not know what to say prophecy is not just when God reveals something like word of knowledge you can take the word of God and begin to create possibilities it's important to know the word it's important to know the word when it looks like things around you are not working you go to Psalm 3 many are they that rise up against me many are they which say where is your God it says but thou O Lord art a shield for me you are my glory the lifter up of my head I will lift up my eyes to the hills from whence cometh my help my help comes from the Lord the maker of the heavens and the earth it's unfortunate for believers who don't know the word you must trust God for grace to sit down and gather relevant scriptures that address the issue of concern and stand up like the priest that you are put those words in the lips of faith like Kenyon would say and begin to release them with true supernatural power the Lord is my light and salvation the Lord is my light and salvation I reject confusion in my life I hear a voice from behind saying this is the way walk ye in it this is how to pray is someone ready to pray listen to me there are many of us who have gotten to the stage in our seasons where it is our prophecy that will bring the morning if you don't prophesy nothing will happen is someone ready to pray if you don't know what to say go and hold the hands of someone who knows what to say and agree with them lift your voice and begin to speak there has to be a scripture that you know he shall keep them in perfect peace whose minds are stayed towards him many are the afflictions of the righteous but the Lord delivered him from them all from them all from them all and I will restore the years that the canker worm has eaten, the palmer worm, the caterpillar. It will give them beauty for ashes, joy for the spirit of mourning, that they might be called the oaks of righteousness the planting of the Lord and he shall be glorified behold I do a new thing shall ye not know it I make a way even in the wilderness streams in the desert the Lord shall perfect all that concerns me all the days of my appointed time I wait till my change comes when the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion they were like them that dream so said they among the hidden the Lord had done great things for us he said the Lord has done great things for us whereof we are glad turn again our captivity like the streams of the Negev they that sow in tears shall reap in joy. I am the head and not the tail, above and not beneath. I shall lay up gold as dust, even the gold of offal. Gentiles come to my light, their kings even to the brightness of my rising. For my shame I receive double. Elas Kabarandes Kalapro Oshoda Bahasia.
but my head shall thou exalt like the horn of an unicorn and I shall be anointed with fresh oil fresh oil fresh oil blessed in my going out blessed in my coming in blessed is the work of my hands my kneading trough in the name of Jesus Christ Blessed is a man that feareth the Lord, that delighted greatly in his commands. My seed shall be mighty upon earth. The generation of the upright shall be blessed. Wealth and riches shall be in my house, and my righteousness endures forever. Pray. Pray. You are not just speaking, you are creating. Declare thou that ye might test be justified. For by your words you are justified. And by your words you are condemned. You are bringing before God your strong reasons. Above only, above only, above only, above only, in the name of Jesus, above only, above only, a sign and a wonder, a testament of the grace of God, a testament of the favor of God, a testament of the hand of God, a testament of the mercy of God. Though weeping endures for a night, joy comes with the morning. Prophesy joy in the morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In Genesis chapter 32, Genesis chapter 32, the Bible says, Jacob wrestled with God and he said, leave me for the day breaketh. He says, I will not let you go unless, listen, unless you bless me. Here's how God blessed him. What is your name? What is your identity? What have people known you with? I'm about to change it. That's how I bless you. If I blessed you truly, it means something they used to say about you. A proverb should no longer be heard. What is your name? And he said, Jacob, a cheat and a supplanter. He said, thou shalt no longer be called Jacob, but Israel. Why? For as a prince, you have had power with God and prevailed. We are going to pray. Father, change my name. In this season, listen. Change my name means change my experience. Change my name means change the proverb. Let this proverb not be used about me again. That God cannot show him mercy. That God cannot lift my family. Let this proverb change. Like father, like son, no sir. Open your mouth and cry change my name change my story and Jabez was more honorable than his brethren Jabez the mother called him Jabez named him in sorrow but Jabez was angry he said oh that thou wouldest bless me enlarge my coast is someone praying Lord change my financial name Change my ministerial name. Change my marital name. 
change my destiny name out of the abundance of your mercy by the encounter I've had with you change my name change my story change my name give me a testimony shut the mouths of the wicked prove once again that you are God and that by yourself please pray God answers prayers give me a new name hallelujah hallelujah next prayer point the Bible says he touched the hollow of his thigh and it became twisted Lord may I never depend on my strength it says trust in the Lord with all your heart Proverbs chapter 3 and verse 5 and lean not on your own understanding it says in all your ways acknowledge him and he shall direct your path the next verse says do not be wise in your own understanding but fear the Lord and turn away from evil you are going to pray Lord I've trusted my certificate I've trusted my connection I've trusted my beauty I've trusted my spirituality but tonight I take my eyes away from all of this as advantageous as they are they looked on to him and their faces were lightened I look to you and to you alone lift your voice and pray lift your voice and pray we are praying I take my eyes away from man it is true that my blessings come through men but my eyes are fixed on you is someone praying We look to Yahweh, Yahweh. Our hope is Yahweh, Yahweh. We look to Yahweh, Yahweh. Forever Yahweh, Yahweh. Like the brazen serpent that Moses made, he said, whoever looks to that serpent, the real one will not strike at him. Vain is anything that you put your strength on. So Jacob, I see you stable without me. I touch your point of stability so that you will be ever dependent on me. The last prayer point. He said he blessed him and the sun arose until then it was night the war happened in the night the weeping happened in the night but then he says the sun arose and Jacob called the name of the place Peniel the face of God he says for I have seen God face to face when Moses saw the face of God, he returned back with a testimony. Is someone ready to pray? Lord, let the sun arise. It is true that weeping endures for a night. 
but I believe I'm standing at the dawn of my morning. Lift your voice and prophesy. Let my son arise. Son arise. Financial son arise. Ministerial son arise. The encounter is over. The lessons have been learned. The impartations have been received. Therefore, night time be turned today. Night time be turned today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Keep standing. We're rounding up. Let me tell you three things that come into your life when you break through with God. Number one, strange dimensions of favor. There is, a, there is a, an unusual degree of favor. It's God's signature. He writes it upon your life that the training for this phase has come to an end. You have been approved. He uses favor. Dimensions of doors you never dreamt opening. I can tell you this happens. It doesn't matter how the night is. That when your day breaks, you will see favor that will bring you to your knees. When I talk of favor, I'm not talking money. I'm talking of the hearts of kings and nobles. Money is very small. God will take the hearts of kings and nobles and give you. It will be like a charm. You will call on a man and nations will respond. You have become Beulah and Hephzibah. The delight. Number two. Genuine, authentic spiritual power. Genuine spiritual power. Not trial and error. Not like God will come. Not like God will move. Something solid upon you. Provable. Genuine spiritual power. You speak the purposes of God to men's lives. And you will shift lives overnight. Power. 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 Number three, the third thing that happens to you when you stand with God is that God multiplies both your spiritual and your physical influence. He increases the reach of the grace he has put upon your life. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Every man is limited by the jurisdiction a portion for his grace to function there are men who can stand from anywhere and speak over nigeria it doesn't matter the grace given to them and the expansion they have attained unto in the spirit covers that sphere elijah stood in one place and spoke over an entire land there were times when jesus had to leave one land to enter another land to pray for a person what was the reward of the five, two, and one talent, greater territory, greater influence in the spirit. When kings conquered certain lands, they had increased territory. America is called America today because it's the unity of many states. One American state can be three times Nigeria. One state. Are we together now? Yes. Is why it's called United States of America. In Nigeria, you can pass through a state in 30 minutes. And there are times in the state you will fly for hours from one state to the other. There is no state that is more than one hour, 10 minutes. Maiduguri to Lagos is the farthest distance. 
one hour 10 minutes exactly you are there but you will fly for hours that is the reason why whoever sits as the president of that territory must be respected by every devil whether they like it or not it is the reason why the american president is the number one president because there are many in one state is the destiny of many nations the per capita income of just one state will swallow up many african countries so when god expands your sphere dimensions where your grace would not reach now you can speak from one place and they can hear from home before you had to go home for them to hear but now god has expanded your influence and they say won't you come again you say no problem he has upgraded the grace for i am also a man under authority right from where i am i can say to one come and he cometh go and he goeth it's like a ranking in the spirit one of my old secondary school classmates my father got to meet with him recently and now he's a major in the army I think at the threshold of the next rank what's the next rank after, after major lieutenant colonel yes i think soon that's what they are going to give him he used to be a fearful chicken like young guy i remember when they take us from joss to go to our school he would start crying even before we go out of joss i never cried once to leave home it was a delight and a pleasure to get out that guy was so girlish and feminine i wondered but that guy today is a major sometimes he would stand and do some things you know he could see a roach cockroach and you know how ladies would jump but today he can tell me kneel down hands up you civilian except for the fact that When I sent thee, lackest thou anything? Can we spend two minutes to pray? Let's pray the prayer of Jabez. Enlarge my territory. Please lift your voice and pray. Enlarge me, O God. Take away the spirit of smallness from my life. It doesn't give you glory that I remain small. Not after an encounter with you. Not after seasons, defining moments with you. Pray the prayer of Jabez. Oh, that thou wouldest bless me. That thou wouldest expand, enlarge my territory. Pray for Koinonia. Pray for your business. Lord, enlarge my territory. He said, where we meet with you is too straight. Let us move beyond the Jordan. Please pray. God is hearing you. You are not wasting your time. It has been said, no one rose beyond certain levels in your family. But can you pray the prayer of Jabez? Expand my territory, oh God. I will go where the fathers have not gone. I will eat the milk and the wine of Canaan. I will not die in the wilderness. He did not bring me from Egypt to leave me in the wilderness. There is a land that flows with milk and honey. Then for many of us, what you need is that the anointing of the Holy Spirit will call forth the men, the men component. God helps by bringing men. God can agree with you. Men can disagree. You will still suffer. God agreed for David to become king. Samuel refused. David remained in the wilderness. 
until Samuel agreed. Men can stop your breakthrough. It's not just demons. Men can stop your breakthrough. And not all men are castable. There are men who are gates, even though they are hedonistic. God doesn't cast them. He gives you access to their heart. When a man's ways pleases the Lord, he makes even his enemies. There are some enemies you can't drive because they are still gates. Are we together? Lord, I'm ready for you tonight. Lift your voice and pray. pray Lord I'm ready for you this is my family hallelujah glory to the Lamb glory to the Father you are seated on the throne hallelujah glory to the Lamb Glory to the Father, you are seated on the throne. Hallelujah, glory to the Lamb, glory to the Father, you are seated on the throne. Hallelujah. Glory to the Father, you are seated on the Hallelujah, say hallelujah. Glory to the Lamb. Glory to the Father, you are seated on the throne. Hallelujah.
Now let me do the singing. I'm going to sing this song once. I want those who are under the anointing while I sing. This is the instruction God is giving me. This same song. You guys have done your good music. Let me prophesy now with it. You'll be surprised to see what will happen. In here, outside, as I'm singing this song. If that anointing finds you, as you come out here, begin to rejoice. Because it is strange breakthrough. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bring them out. Shabalakato Sabadasiata. Hallelujah. Glory to the Father. You are seated on the throne. Hallelujah. 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 No power can stand it. Glory to the Father. The forces must let you go. Hey, hallelujah. There's authority in the song that I'm singing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hey, glory to the Father. You are seated on the throne. Hallelujah. Glory to the Lamb. Glory to my Father. You are seated on the throne. Hallelujah. Glory to the Lamb. Glory to the Father. They are leaving you now. They are leaving you now. I'm speaking by the Spirit. They are leaving you now. There are chains over you leaving now. There are chains leaving you now. I'm ministering by the Spirit. There are chains are leaving you now. Even the lawful captives. Kabarakatos. Chains. I'm seeing chains breaking from the hands of men. Chains be broken. The worship team already prepared our hearts. I command the chains to be broken by the authority of this kingdom. Be broken. Shabarakatos. Be broken. Be broken. Be broken. Be broken. I'm commanding chains to break. Bring them out. The anointing of the Spirit is breaking chains overflow one two three online chains chains of captivity all kinds of bondages every force of darkness it's time for you to go it's time for you to go release their destinies hallelujah Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to the Father. You are seated on the throne. Now listen, God is giving me an instruction. Hold on. If there is any power associated with your family, you will know now by the fire that falls on you. This is what the Lord is telling me. I'm about to pray. 
that if there is anything that is demonic responsible for the challenge of your family get ready now because i see a wind of fire moving from this place right there outside i declare it by the power of the holy spirit let the fire of the spirit visit men and women and families now hold on listen i'm still praying listen to me the bible says that paul was at a place it was cold in the night and they put wood together when they said the a viper was there but it could not be seen but when they set fire on the wood the fire exposed the viper i declare shabbatos katadia by the fire of the spirit by the fire of the holy ghost every viper hiding in any family hiding in any destiny be exposed now be exposed now be exposed now be exposed now every viper every snake scorpion Glory to the Lamb, glory to the Father who was seated on the throne. Hallelujah, glory to the Lamb, glory to the Father who was seated on the throne. Hallelujah, glory to the Lamb, glory to the Father, you are seated on the throne. Where are the forces fighting your advancement? Force is fighting men's advancement. The Lord is judging them now. Judging them now. Judging them now. It's time for you to move forward. I command judgment on the forces fighting your advancement. I command judgment on the forces fighting your advancement. Overflow one, lift your hands, please. Everyone in overflow one, lift your hands. The Lord is ministering to me. Overflow one, lift your hands. There is a mighty deliverance that is coming there. At the count of three, overflow one, I want you to shout Jesus. As you shout Jesus, I'm seeing gates with chains breaking. Are you ready now? One, two, three. lady that lady going back I'm looking at a lady but in the spirit I'm watching I'm not saying you're a bad girl my dear all I'm seeing is a serpent I'm not seeing a human being in the name of Jesus I stretch my hands I expose that serpent now glory to the father Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to pray a very interesting prayer. Don't mind me. Just allow me. I'm ministering under the anointing. I'm going to say exactly what I'm hearing in the spirit and if it doesn't sound logical don't worry just let me do the prayer snakes be judged 
snakes be judged snakes be judged snakes serpents of the night be judged serpents of the night be judged serpents of the night be judged God is against you Ebenezer the helper of man is against you snakes I say it again be judged be judged no rest no peace be judged snakes be judged I'm seeing a lady vomiting something. That's what I'm seeing in a vision right now. I don't know what it is I'm seeing, but in the name of Jesus Christ, God is releasing people. There is victory. God is helping people. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord is opening my eyes and I'm seeing fire, not impartation, fire consuming people's head. And God is saying his restoration of lost glory. That's what I'm seeing. Restoration. Something that used to be in your life and all of a sudden faded away. I'm seeing fire coming on people's heads. Where are they, oh God? I stretch my hands now. Let the fire bring restoration. 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 Help them, please. Restoration. 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 I command restoration of every lost glory. Even the lawful captive shall be delivered. All those who are out in front under the anointing here, I declare every legal grounds upon which any spirit is operating in your life at the count of three by the mystery of the blood, it leaves you now. One, two, three, go, 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 go out of their lives in the name of Jesus, out of their lives. When the blood speaks, nothing else speaks again. Victory by the blood of the eternal covenant. Victory by the blood of the eternal covenant. Hallelujah. The Lord is showing me a family here. And I'm seeing that the father in that family, I don't know if he's out of pressure, but went to a herbalist and they gave him something to go and bury in the house. He may not even know it. This is something that happened a while ago. And whatever it is, seemed to backfire. When it came to money issues, he didn't go and pay, like give the herbalist whatever it is. That's what God is showing me now. And I'm seeing that because of that, every door in that family, everything just closed. I'm going to pray. Lord, wherever whoever represents that family here whether inside or outside or online I'm praying right now by the mercy of the God of heaven whatever enchantment and activities of darkness invoked by those herbalists I cancel it right now in the name of Jesus I cancel it right now in the name of Jesus I cancel it right now in the name of Jesus. I cancel it right now in the name of Jesus. Who is Rebecca? Rebecca. Rebecca, like Becky. Rebecca. Rebecca. I'm hearing a name, Rebecca. Rebecca.
Stand up. You are Rebecca. That's the person I'm talking about. Come. Stand up. You are seated on the throne. Madam, where are you coming from? You came from Abuja. Yes, I'm seeing you in a vehicle from Abuja yes, coming. You came alone? I came with my niece. And my younger brother, my cousins, they live in Zaria. You, One came from Kano. My you, but you came from Abuja. Yes, I came from What's Abuja. your name? Asmao Rebecca. 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 Asmao. Come. It's time for your victory. Lift your hands. There is. Let her go now. I command the spirit oppressing you. You have come to Koinonia, the place where God dwells. In the name of Jesus Christ, the power that fights you. In the name of Jesus Christ, this woman is going to return with very strange testimonies. Mama, you are Rebecca. I'll pray with you. In the name of Jesus, I prophesy to you. The Lord has located you and end comes to your captivity. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Where are you from? Where are you from? I'm from Samnaka. Please help this woman. Are they, are they, this mama, are they Rebecca? Mama, are you Rebecca? Rebecca. Huh? Rebecca. You are Rebecca, mama? Okay. This one, too, I'm going to pray for you. Sometimes God gives a word and then I'm, I'm talking to you now, my dear. Where are you from? Samnaka. State of origin. Region. Kaduna. You are from Kaduna State. Yes, Come, sir. I want to pray for you. There's trouble in your family. You are in need of the power of God desperately. Hold my hands. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I bring to end this captivity. The lady that is going back, tap her. Just tell her to look at me. Just look at me. It's over now. In Jesus' name. All of you are Rebecca. My dear, salvation is coming. An anointing is leaving me to you. And it's for your family. From next month, you will start hearing strange testimonies. Open doors. Mama, you are Rebecca. Who else is Rebecca? All of you are Rebecca. I'm going to pray for you. Ma, I have to pray for you. Yes, ma. The spirit of death is following your family. I'm, I'm not a prophet of doom. I want to pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I lay my hands over our mommy. Help her, please. I command the spirit of death. One of you here, um, I don't know which of you, but I'm seeing an anointing coming on one of you in front here. There's one of you, an anointing is coming on you. Um, the Lord is bringing deliverance. Right now, you can't stand it. It's, it's the power of God. One of you, an anointing is coming on you for strange deliverance. Mama, be free in the name of Jesus Christ. Hi. There's, there's serious witchcraft. Excuse me, just a minute. I command that spirit to leave this lady now. You must go. You must let her go. In the name of Jesus Christ. He, he who the Son sets free is free indeed. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Name of Jesus Christ. Uh, this this mama doesn't speak English. I think she speaks Yoruba. She, she speaks Yoruba. Who is? Ajimin, can you come or someone? Just tell her the Lord is bringing breakthrough. You can whisper it now here. It doesn't have to be. It's your mother. Come. The Lord is breaking. The Lord is breaking a yoke, the yoke of delay. Ah, as I just mentioned delay, I just saw fire just left me. As I just mentioned that word delay, I'm about to pray on it. But since, since I just saw the fire, let me just do what I saw in the spirit. The spirit of delay, be judged now. The spirit of delay, I say it again, be judged now. The spirit of delay, shadow kasudosh. The spirit of delay, be judged now. The spirit of delay, open your heart, open your heart and pray. 
the spirit of delay be judged now any kind of delay the spirit of delay be judged now the spirit of delay be judged now be judged now be judged now breakthrough for your family God is bringing breakthrough mama God is bringing breakthrough your son will tell you in Yoruba in the name of Jesus Christ there's something on you that makes wrong people come to you I have to pray for you Are you I'm looking at you very bad people come to you for bad reasons no serious person you know what I'm saying I don't want to start bringing long it's not there is something there's a spirit in you that attracts those kind of people they will never pass you and go free they must turn back and this thing is destroying your life hold my hands shout Jesus look at this so you just think it's just love you are in love with a beautiful girl it's not just love out now go in the name of Jesus hallelujah glory to the Lamb glory to the Father, you are seated on the throne. Hallelujah. Glory to the Lamb. I've not seen this in a long time. The Lord is showing me a map again, and this map is going to Kogi State. I'm laying my hands now. Kogi State. Let that anointing begin to find people within that region. Now I'm praying. You come within that region. Let the anointing find you. Deliverance for that region now. Shatakoto Seketea. Kogi State. Deliverance now. From any strange power. Any force of darkness. If you don't know your state of origin and you are from there, you can know it now by the anointing. In the name of Jesus, anyone from that region, that's the region the anointing of the Spirit is focusing on now. I command deliverance now. The strong men within those regions, let God's people go now. Release them right now. The spirits of the grave, the spirits of ancestry, I cost you by the God of heaven. Hallelujah. 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 lift your hands we'll pray for the sick shortly but there are people here why God brought you tonight is to receive the healing anointing I just saw it I don't know where they are they are in almost every overflow there are representations Lord Jesus anyone who you brought here to receive the anointing for healing let that anointing come this is your moment now receive it now ordained by God to receive this anointing today ordained by God to receive the grace for healing I'm seeing that anointing coming on two people in worship team two people in worship team that anointing that grace hallelujah glory to the Lamb the anointing to heal the sick you don't just pray for the sick. There is an anointing. I say it again. The anointing to bring healing. To transport the power of God. From the throne to their lives. Receive that anointing right now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mama. Come please. Please help her. 
she's not running by herself it's under the anointing mama i see a new dimension of healing coming on you a new time just hold her a new dimension of healing in the name of jesus christ ah, this mama is going to pray for the sick and you'll be surprised there is an unusual anointing upon you for barrenness for barrenness i'm praying help that lady please in the name of jesus receive that anointing mama in the name of jesus christ the grace the grace in the name of jesus christ the lord is asking me to stand in front of you just to stand in front of you that's the instruction i'm getting the light shines out of darkness god is removing something from your chest i'm seeing something leaving you I don't know what this is, but in the name of Jesus Christ, I stand in front of you. Be free right now. Be free right now. Be free right now. All of you who are standing here in the name of Jesus, I agree with you. And I declare, come, let me touch your child. I'm going to pray for favor. When you hear me say favor, lift your hands and receive. You need it in your life. Too many people have taken advantage of you. Even as... I'm seeing people laughing. That's, that's why I just stopped. This is very strange. A strange anointing. It's a sign of victory in the spirit. That's what the Lord is showing me. Strange. It's an anointing. Very strange anointing. You see, if you are not spiritual and you don't understand why God does these things, it's not showmanship. The Bible says he's, he filled their mouth with laughter. I read it for you. You can't stand it. It's something that laughter you see is warfare. It's not just laughing hysterically. I release it. The families that is for, the individuals that is for, laughter is a weapon in the spirit. It disarms the enemy. So my dear, when I'm praying for favor, please you stand to receive it. Eh? But I bless your child. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. There's someone, your family member has been missing. This is more than one year. Who is that person? Because the person who is missing is still alive. Let, if she's the one, who is missing? Don't come and tell lies here. Are you sure? My father, I Your talked father. to you about it before. You told me about yes, it? Yes, and you remember. prayed. Where, what happened? When last did you see him? 2016, August, Saturday. He told me he was coming and that was the end. From where? From Edo State, Benin. And you've not seen him? I've not seen him since date. We are still in search of him. How about you? My cousin's sister. Your cousin's sister is missing. Yes. Sir. All these people, they are, Shaka, leave them. Shaka. Their loved ones are Shaka. just fine. Now, once they are, don't please, if, if you are not related to the people, don't please don't come here. We are going to pray generally. If you, if you do it like that, there will be chaos. How about you? Yes, sir, my in law. Your in law? Yes, sir. What do you mean, your in law? From Enugu State. Okay. All of you, your loved ones are missing. Your loved one is missing. Who is that? Your younger brother? Yes, missing. Since when? 2014. 2014? Yes. They've not seen him? Yes, sir. You see how Satan works? How can somebody leave home? For you to sympathize with people, put them in your shoes. Imagine that your child left home and said, Mommy, I'm coming, and never comes back. I'm prophesying to you three years. Your child went and said, Mommy, I'm coming. Until today. Come, Mama. Give her the mic. Hold on, Mama. 
your, your child is alive. This boy you see, are they twins or is he the same person? This one is one. Yeah. He's, he's the only one. What only, happened to him? He, he left school. I put him in APU. He refused. Polly, he refused. He's busy taking drugs, going about lying to people that his parents are dead. All over at times, they call me in the police station or your state, but that court that is arrested, I don't know how they set him free at times. You see, our honestly, let me speak towards young people. It's, it's okay, Mama. It's your only son. The only son. One, one, okay, one. That's you all. Know? Yes. You, that's how you know it's a spirit. Because the devil sat down and saw that this boy is, will bring joy to the mother. And then the devil decided to, if, will the lady not marry and go? Huh? He's very intelligent. In school, he was in the AP, he left the school and go away. What's his name? Awal is his name, Awal. Awal? Yes. Hi. We are going to pray. Like a month ago, from what God is showing me, this boy had problem with police. They were smoking. In the they were they, smoking Igbo. Police came and drugs. packed them with he his friends. Drugs. This is what, Mama. Let me talk to you now. I'm the one talking to you. I know. You see, when you see me pray about this, this drug, this thing, that drug is a spirit. It's more than we do respect to doctors and this thing. It's not just because of the physical thing it gives. I'm telling you, that thing is a spirit. If you have a child or you know someone that takes that thing, counseling is not the way out. There is a real spirit that must be casted out. Are we together? Some of you here right now, seated in this program, you love God, but that, what, what they, they call it, codeine, again. Uh, mama, 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 don't worry. It's... it's it's, it's okay it's okay because you see the way these boys are desperate for this morning they will coin every kind of story and beg you and lie you give them 100 naira you give, once you give them enough to take this thing they will disappear and go and rubbish it let me tell you there is none of those boys that is bad in himself there is none of those girls that are bad in themselves is the influence of spirits nobody will be killing himself and eating death like that every day mama you have come for miracle service god will do something about your situation who is this my brother it's my mom younger brother your for mom's over, younger brother yes for missing. over 10 years we have not seen him 10 years yes we've not seen him oh pray how about you sir my elder you're brother. the pastor that came from warrior yeah. okay. from delta state from delta state okay. uh, my elder brother was missing about 20 years ago we really forget, forgot about him in Ghana. He was in Ghana and he's, and he's yes, missing. Yes. Okay, let me pray with you. It's an instruction. Because some of the situations now, they are even very difficult situations. I, I don't know in myself whether some of them are alive or they've gone to be with the Lord or whatever. But my job is to pray. Because God has instructed me to pray. Mama, please stop crying. You came here with faith in your heart. Let me tell you, you must eat the fruit of your labor. And I'm saying this, I'm using this mother as a point of contact, not just to every mother here, but to all our mothers. The force that wants them to labor and die in pain, go to their graves in pain, we challenge that force now. In the name of Jesus Christ. It's an error to sow and someone reap. In the name of Jesus, every true mother that has labored to sow, may they reap in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus, I'm praying. Everyone here whose loved one is missing and alive and walking in the earth here, I connect them back now in the name of Jesus. I'm praying for you. I connect them back now with the name of Jesus. Jesus called Lazarus. And when he called Lazarus, he came out. I called them by their various names in the spirit. 
for as long as they are alive and walking on this earth i put a desire in them to reconnect to their families those who have been jailed because you see some of these people let's be very fair some of them they they smuggle their way out of the country they go to libya they go to all of these places some of them go to do prostitution unfortunately some of them go because they want to make money someone tells them come travel and all of that so some of them they may even be in cells in some of these places you may never know but regardless of the case for as long as they are on earth we cry for mercy in the name of jesus christ may they be reconnected back to you in jesus name god bless you please go back to your seat rejoicing go back to your seat rejoicing go back to your seat rejoicing I hope someone is holding that person shouting me. My friend, come. You are doing your ushering work, but I will pray for you before you go back. Eh? Look at me. I'm looking at you. The Lord is telling me to tell you, August 7th is a month that breakthrough will begin in a very strange way for you. Hold my hands. August 7, don't forget, write it. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for this gentleman. You have revealed to me August 7, I prophesy to him. In the name of Jesus Christ, may God change your life within that time. May God change your life within that time. May God change your life within that time. I'm seeing a ring, a ring in the spirit. I'm seeing a ring in the spirit. I'm seeing a ring. Ordinary, when you see a ring, you would think maybe God is saying he's bringing marriage. Maybe marriage to families. But this one, God is delivering people from spirit entities with all kinds of fraternities over their lives. Right now, I stretch my hands. That's why it's important to let the Holy Ghost interpret things. I know that many of you may not believe what I'm praying, but you just allow me to pray. Every spirit entity covenanting to you as a husband or as a wife, I set fire on this ring I see in the spirit. Be free from them now. Ladies, be free now. I command those spirit entities to release you. In the name of Jesus Christ. For the gentleman, I command freedom for you now. From any entity laying claims over you. You go to bed and they come to you in the night. They try to molest you. They try to sleep with you. They can use faces of people you know or you don't know. Or animals. Anyone under the sound of my voice, who any stranger comes to him in the night while you sleep, fire is coming on you now. 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 I command that they let you go now. For some of us, when good things are about to happen, just when you are about to get it, you go in the night and someone comes to sleep with you in that dream. As soon as you wake up from that experience, no matter what it is, it's gone. Whether it is favor, whether it is breakthrough, fire is still speaking. I'm praying. At the count of three, oh God, you who is a mighty deliverer, I pray that your anointing will search for these ones and bring them deliverance now. One, two, three. Let there be deliverance for you now. Deliverance for you now. From any spirit entity laying claims on your destiny. Hallelujah. This lady, 
with lime yes you come no look at me look at me i'm talking at that one with you yes come where are you coming from benway benway state look at me look at this are you seeing she just stood there and while i was looking i just saw a spirit to her look at me and turn the face now it's very funny how these things work see one of the prayers you must pray in your life is for the grace of open eyes if your eyes are closed in this life and all that is open is your brain you will be in trouble open eyes is not something just for prophets it's one of the true riches of the kingdom you must cry that God will open your eyes. Not to see nonsense around, to see something that is destiny molding. Now look at this girl. How will I stand and see someone there and call her out? Imagine that this lady went back like this. To her she will now say, oh God, so this is how you didn't locate me. Sensitivity, discernment is a priceless spiritual gift. Sensitivity. It comes by praying in the Holy Ghost. It comes by praying in the Holy Ghost. Not wishing. Praying in the Holy Ghost. You activate your organs. You have to pray for a long time in the spirit. For your spirit to be heightened. To be able to perceive spiritual things. Otherwise you will get into all kinds of error. Wrong perception. That you have started seeing things does not mean they are clear. You must continue in the place of prayer until it becomes accurate. I just showed you the thing of ring now. Some of you may see that ring now and then tell somebody it's, it's not marriage as it were. You see it was something else but it's a ring. This lady has bad luck in her life. Very bad luck. I have to pray for you. She just came quietly standing. This I would have shared the grace. And the dear lady will go back. And then it will look as if God is not in the place. In the name of Jesus. I'm seeing you cough. I'm seeing her cough. That's what I'm seeing in the spirit. That she's beginning to cough. I don't know why, what is having to do with coughing. But in the name of Jesus Christ. Shatos let everything that speaks against you leave now this lady swallowed something in the dream. Someone came to her, gave her something, and she swallowed in the dream. If you ever say you like this girl, everything in your life goes down immediately. I'm not saying she's a bad girl. Please don't get me wrong. I'm teaching her something here. She's not a bad girl, but this is the operation in her life. There are people, do you know why we minister to people like that? This is what sometimes prophets see, that if they don't get discernment, they go around saying, someone now may not see this correctly and say this girl is a witch he's not exactly wrong in terms of saying that there is war associated with her life you can come now and hold her hands as a businessman in two months of relationship everything goes down and she knows she loves god but if you are not discerning you will now call the poor girl a witch and everybody will start running away from her she's not a witch there is just a challenge and then if you also say she's all right like that and somebody marries her that guy's life will be torn into pieces this is the testimony of so many families it's an uncomfortable truth but it's true human beings carry spirits they carry presence father liberty for her the devil is already ah someone in overflow one and overflow three is being delivered from fibroid 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 i just saw a hand 
reaching into someone's like someone's stomach to bring out something in the name of Jesus Christ that devil of fibroid we pray for the sick shortly we'll be very fast at it fibroid is gone now in the name of Jesus Christ our time is gone can we pray for the sick very quickly now listen I want you if you are coming here to be prayed for come full of faith you don't have to say what is wrong with you if you are not asked don't worry and all of us who are going to pray for the sick we are going to make this very fast are we together now um, as always overflow one and part of overflow two part of overflow two you will come in here come and stand in front here uh, no no not main auditorium sorry not overflow one the main auditorium and then half of overflow two allow them to come here overflow one move to your projector stand please the remaining part of overflow two and the, those standing at the roadside you can move to the projector stand overflow three all of you trusting god for healing please move to your projector stand we have about 10 15 minutes to do this very quickly while we are doing that ushers and uh, i don't know whatever whoever needs to help them submit your prayer requests very quickly if you have your prayer request you are coming out here for healing come come there is a God that heals. Please, if you have your prayer request, you can lift it up, write it very quickly. No, no, the ushers will collect it. Ushers. And, and then if, if there are not many, PR department can help them. Let's make it snappy. Or any other department can help them. Let's, let's make it very... We're going to make it very fast. Please and please let there be orderliness once you have been prayed for. We may not have time to take testimonies. We are just going to pray very, very quickly. Hallelujah. Okay, let's see. Um, Ejimi, Ejimi and Benga, overflow three. Two of you can go to overflow three. Um, let's see. Pastor Alpha and promise overflow one outside pastor Femi and Kenny overflow two let's do it like that I'll, I'll pray I'll pray for the ones here by myself hallelujah let's pray together in the name of Jesus everybody say amen, amen. father we declare corporately that your healing power will begin to flow heal the sick deliver the oppressed and in the name of Jesus, bring yourself glory by the power of the Holy Ghost in Jesus' name. Please make sure while we are praying, the ushers also come to these people in front so that they can have it. We'll be very, very fast so that we finish on time. Thank you, Jesus. You're the name above every other name. Hail Yahweh.
the name fade away Let every other name fade away Till there's only you Let every other name fade away Let every other name fade away Jesus, take the upper lane
the mighty God. Ain't lots of be true. You are the glorious God. Oh, Lord, Lord, Lord. Hey, you are the mighty God. Ain't lots of be true. You are the glory.
It's not a ritual. Declare that everything I've dropped here in the name of Jesus becomes an answered prayer. Please, ushers, make sure. Make sure that we have everyone's request here. Those online connect by faith. I'm praying now. Make sure you are praying. Prophesy. Are you praying? Father, I believe. I believe. If the devil didn't stop your request from getting here, he will not stop it from being answered. Father, in the name of Jesus, let there be miracles. And I anoint this request. I anoint them in the name of Jesus. I anoint them by the power of the Holy Ghost. I anoint them in the name of Jesus. Signs and wonders, breakthroughs, impossible situations. Turn things around, oh God. You have declared that you are turning things around. Turn around everyone's captivity. Turn around everyone's captivity. Let there be testimonies. Break the spirit of delay. In the name of Jesus Christ, we decree and declare. Hallelujah. Every time we do this, we do this one as instructed. And then number two, because it's an opportunity to have everyone's desire and everyone's request here. Father, I stand upon these requests by faith. Turn them into testimonies, oh God. Turn them into testimonies, oh God. Turn them into testimonies, oh God. Lord, these requests are a representation of the needs of your people. I stand, oh God, in the name of Jesus on their behalf, and I cry, let fire fall upon this request. And I prophesy to you on account of this request that the Egyptians you see today, in the name that is above all names, may you see them no more forever. I say it again that the Egyptians you see today, may you see them no more forever. Some of you, before this month is over, you will return with strange testimonies. 
it's still two days or a day or so to the end of the month between now and even tomorrow may you return with strange testimonies whoever must be judged for this prayer to be answered may it be so whoever must receive a conviction about you between tonight and tomorrow or till whenever for this prayer to be answered we declare it so in the name of Jesus and so shall it be in the name of Jesus Christ put your hands together for Jesus lift your hands to receive the prophetic word now we're rounding up the miracle service is not complete if you don't receive a prophetic word prophecy is powerful it's powerful it creates I release testimonies to your life let me say it again because many of you didn't believe it I release testimonies to your life I release testimonies to your life I release testimonies to your life I release testimonies to your life. The key that you need to open the door for the next level may be handed it over to you in the spirit. The kind of favor that you will need to testify in the name of Jesus. May the God that gives favor to men grant you favor. in the name of Jesus for those in need of restoration I prophesy receive restoration for those in need of an urgent miracle a miracle that has to happen on time otherwise it will cost you I stretch my hands in the name that is above all names let it happen to you even within 24 hours, let there be that. Year. For those who have never had an opportunity to laugh, every time you want to laugh, something comes that must force you to cry. I announce to you, the season of your laughter begins tonight. Where you have been despised, I place an anointing upon you and tonight I call you Beulah and Hephzibah. In the name of Jesus Christ. Anyone here in ministry and things are not working, you are doing your best but it's just not working. Receive the grace to begin to walk in a greater dimension of signs and wonders. Anyone here in business, in the name of Jesus, you are entering the season of your best days from now anyone here trusting God for a job for you or for your loved ones between now and the next miracle service return with your testimony return with your testimony return with your testimony every challenge plaguing your family not just you a family thing everyone is crying from it could be patterns could be whatever it is I stretch my hands right now and in the name that is above all names, I bring those patterns to an end now. For those trusting God for financial miracles, your miracle, the area you are trusting God is directly in the area of finances. I agree with you and I release my faith. May the God that prospers men surprise you. Everyone here called barren or standing in for any barren person. Return as a mother of joyful children. The anointing that makes things work. The grace for performance. I release that grace upon your life. Everything that is upon your hand now, I command it to work. In the name of Jesus Christ. And I announce to you let july from july 1st to july 31st may it be named a month of strange miracles strange wonders strange miracles strange wonders 
strange miracles strange wonders in the name of Jesus Christ tonight for some of you as you sleep may my God show you the secrets of your destiny in the name of Jesus Christ every area where you are trusting God to give you divine direction in the name of Jesus every spiritual mechanism that God can use to communicate to you I declare that let it be so for you revelation after revelation finally whoever needs to arise and help you they already have the capacity all they need is the willingness I pray for you let me tell you breakthrough is very easy when your helper likes you your helper has the means but he needs to have the heart some have the heart but they don't have the means you need both I prophesy to you in the name of Jesus that any man and woman positioned around you that has the ability to help you I pray that God will put it in their hearts to help you I speak over your life a new level of spiritual encounters I say it again a new level of spiritual encounters for some of you I'm holding my Bible as a prophetic act because some of you have divorced this book not willingly but by reason of the operation of spirit the only time you open your Bible is in church or a koinonia right now fall in love with this bible fall in love with the word of god an appetite for the word of god i release upon you every kind of spiritual laziness you say i wake up to pray by 12 and sleep till 8 in the morning or you get up to pray and five minutes you are snoring back it's an attack i cast that spirit over your life fresh fire upon your prayer altar in the name of Jesus Christ we declare peace over Nigeria we declare peace over the north we declare peace over Plateau State we declare peace over Kaduna State we declare peace over Zaria. Specifically for Zaria, we fortify the spiritual borders of this city. And in the name of Jesus, we declare that no orchestration of darkness will arise to disrupt the peace and serenity of the people. May the angels of the Lord, in the name of Jesus, secure the borders of this city. Secure the borders of the north. And we pray that the perpetrators of wickedness be judged by God in heaven. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. You are here and you need Jesus desperately. Keep standing please. You need Jesus desperately. Desperately. You are saying man of God, I need Jesus as a matter of urgency. I have seen the value. I have seen the usefulness of Jesus in my life. Hitherto, every time I hear about Jesus, I, I resent him. I scorn and laugh at those who talk about him. But from tonight's meeting, the Holy Spirit has convicted me. And I testify. And with all humility, I declare that I need him. Second category of people. Man of God, I love Jesus with all my heart. But I know that I need a strengthening in my spiritual life. Things have gone haywire. If God does not help me, there will be no way out for me. You belong to these two categories, Overflow 1, Overflow 2, Main Auditorium. I'd like you to walk out here quickly. Overflow 3, I'd like you to run to your projector stand. Very quickly, I'm counting 1 to 5 and we're done. 1, God bless you. Appreciate them, Koinonia, they're coming. 2, you're still indecisive. It's not good for your destiny. Jesus, I love you. I want to make a genuine decision for you. Three. Please, if they are coming from other overflows, clear the way for them. You are running to Jesus. Don't be ashamed. No man condemns you. 
You are before his throne of grace to obtain mercy, to obtain grace. We are all products of his mercy and grace. Four, please come quickly, quickly, double up. Apostle, I'm not sure whether I'm born again or not. Join them. Join them very quickly. I remember coming out for an altar call, but I, I honestly don't know the name of what I'm doing now. Join them quickly. Join them quickly. Koinonia, is this the best you can do for them? Jesus said, ye must be born again. Salvation is non-negotiable. Listen, let me encourage everyone. Koinonia is not the only platform for genuine salvation. The first mission of this ministry is massive salvation of souls. We must seek and save the lost. Not just save the lost when they come to us. We must seek them. Are we together? Because many of them may not be in a position ordinarily where they can receive salvation. We seek them through intercession. We seek them by engaging them in the conversation that leads them to Christ. God bless you. Lift your hands, all of you. Some of you are crying. You are standing before the Lord. Honestly, the Bible says, whoever will come to him, he will in no wise cast away. Say this loud after me. You are making a confession to the God of heaven. Say, Jesus. Say it again. Say, Jesus, I believe in you. That you are the Son of God. Tonight, I declare that I need you. I need you in my life. I need you in my destiny. Therefore, I declare that you are my Lord. You are my Savior. You are my King. I hand over my life and everything about me to you and to your Lordship. I receive eternal life. I receive the Spirit of God. And I declare, from today until forever, I belong to Jesus. I declare that I'm a child of God. The grace to walk in victory is mine. Amen. Keep your hands lifted. Jesus, thank you. Father, we give you all the glory for drawing these ones. No man can come to you except you draw them. I pray that the grace that keeps men, let that grace keep these ones. The grace that lifts men, let that grace lift them. The grace that secures them, let that grace secure them. In the name of Jesus, I declare your sins forgiven and I declare that the grace to walk in victory be given to you. You will move forward ever and backward never. In Jesus' name I pray. Congratulations. Thank you so much for this bold decision. Please, I'd like you to follow this gentleman waving his hands. Just follow them. I would want you to do something for us. If you are new here, kindly hit on that subscribe button for us. And then like this video as well. Share to your family and friends to bless them. Because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body, to their soul, and to their spirit. We would need you to do one thing for us too. Tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from. And if you've got any testimony for us, kindly share with us. Thank you for watching.